Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video because today we're gonna to be talking about the new Blend Bunny release and you guys know how big of a fan I am of Blend Bunny. So they've come out with Too Faced palettes, which is something that I've been wanting from the brand for a very long time because I feel like they have everything else that I love and I feel like there was no way they wasn't gonna, they wasn't, they weren't gonna kill it when it comes to face palettes. So there are two in this collection and this is the Bare Cheeks palette, which is more of the sort of neutrally wearable tones. These are still like very dramatic blushes, I feel like, but I like the fact that there's a like a very different array of colors. Like there's something for everybody in here. And I feel like people of a lot of different skin tones are gonna be able to get along with this palette. And I also like that there are some shades that are light enough that you can kind of mix and match them if some of them are maybe a little bit too dark for you. So I'm really, really excited about both of these palettes. Uh, the other one is the Juicy Cheeks palette, which is the more like fun one, I guess you could call it. I think this is the one that I'm going to be using in this video. I wanna do a bit of like a, a blush drapey look and I'm excited about it. They've also come out with some juicy lip oils, which these are wonderful. I've had this package for like two days now and I've already used two of these. One is already in my bag. This video was not off to a great start. One of them is already in my bag, which is why I only have five of them here because the pink one, yeah, it, it moved in. What can I say? I'm not going to swatch these because honestly, there's a very, very, very slight tint to them. It's not going to be enough that you can really see much of a difference uh, between them. Even if I swatch them on my lips or on my hand, it looks like they have a lot of tint to them. But honestly, like I'll swatch this one because this is the purple one. Uh, the only thing I will say is be a little bit careful when you like take the doe foot out of the tube because it can get a little bit messy. So you can see on my hand, like there's barely any pink to or purple to that at all. It's just a very, very subtle tint. So if you buy these, think in it's going to be like a purple lip oil. It's really not purple. I will say though, they smell so good. Like they, they kind of smell like what you would expect them to smell like. I think this is like a grape scent. Like they all smell differently and they all smell wonderful. So I'm so excited to be uh, playing with those and also to be playing with the new collection from Melt. And I know I've seen a lot of thumbnails of people using these two collections together, but I guess everybody got their packages at the same time. So I did end up buying the new palette from Melt because I was just curious and I was like, I want to test out this palette. So this is the Electric palette, I think it's called. And I really like this color story. I've already done a look with this, which I will show you at the end of the video. And I've also used the Bare Cheeks palette from Lemonade, which I, I will show you like one cheek swatch from that palette after. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to play with this again. I think the color story is really fun and I wanna play with mostly like these shades today and then like the same sort of tones in the blushes. I think that's going to be the plan. I also ended up picking up one of the lip products. So this is a metallic orange, but it tints, which I'm very intrigued by because I have another one of these products from Melt in a pink color, which also stains and I use them as lip stains. I don't use them as metallic lipsticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this on now and then I'm going to wipe it off in a little bit and put the orange lip oil over the top and we can see how that goes. That is a intense orange lip and I think it looks cool, but this isn't really my thing. So I'm hoping it's going to work the way that I hope it's going to work. I cannot speak today and make sense out of anything, but let's go ahead and do some blush. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna do sort of a gradient from like, red into pink into orange into yellow or something like that. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't usually use that many colors on my cheeks. So we're just gonna have to see. I think I'm gonna start with this color. Now when I swatched this, I'd seen some swatches online and honestly I was a little bit worried because they looked almost too pigmented and like hard to work with, but swatching them myself, they do have a bit of like a sheerness to them, which is good. So I'm gonna start this color like very, very high up, like by my temples and then focus all of the other colors kind of around that. So you can see, even though it looks very red in the pan, it definitely pulls more pink on the cheeks and it is very pigmented. So if you're scared of a pigmented blush, uh, these products might not be for you, honestly, because they are quite pigmented, even though, like I said, they can be sheared out, but it might be a little bit too much for some. 
and I mean this is a lot but it's okay we're gonna make this work I'm not really someone who plays too much with like blush shaping but I think we're gonna get something kind of cool out of this so I'm just using the shade called pulp here which is the one that looks red in the pan and I'm not using a natural hair brush because that would honestly be too much I think using a synthetic brush with uh, brushes blushes <laughs> that are this pigmented is going to be the best idea. Also, I tried to curl my hair today for like the first time in the 34 years that I've been alive and I don't know how I did, but I think I did okay. I just need to practice a little bit more. I kept getting bombarded on Instagram by ads from like Beach Waver. I don't know if I'm the only one or maybe they just like knew. Maybe they knew that this was like a product that I would uh, maybe you want to buy. It's one of those curlers that has a button on it that makes like the curling iron rotate. <laughs> and I'm like, that looks so foolproof that even maybe I can use it. And it took a little bit of, you know, practice to get the hang of in the back of my head and like the underneath of my head looks absolutely ridiculous, but I think I got like the front portions to look okay. At least that's all that matters because that is all that people are going to see, at least on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere today, so if this turns out to be absolutely ridiculous and crazy, that is okay. So I think I'm gonna move into the next shade. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use four shades. That was maybe being a little bit too ambitious, but we're gonna try anyway. Man, I don't have like clean blush brushes. I should have thought of that before starting. Okay, I'm gonna go into this brush, which I'm just gonna wipe it off on my dirty towel in front of me because I am so prepared. And I'm gonna use probably Am I gonna use the pink? I think I'm gonna use this one next and then I'll use like a mix of these two. So I'm gonna dip into this shade. Uh, this is a shade called Plump. And I'm just gonna do that like right here. It look kind of similar, honestly, but I think once I blend this out, it's going to look a little bit more, yeah, it's definitely looking more like a baby pink once I've gotten it blended. And I am going to make sure that I kind of bring this in into my eye socket a little bit like I probably look crazy right now like see they're blending really really nicely together I really like that that is beautiful yeah that is super fun okay I'm next gonna go into why do people always say go into what is like a better way of saying I'm gonna use blah blah color <laughs> I feel like everybody says it but I'm gonna use a mixture of these two I'm just gonna kind of tap in between them and then we're gonna do that sort of on the apples of the cheek here. I'm trying to not go too heavy, but I do want this to be a very visible color. Oh, that is so fun. I love that, like that gradient is so cute. Now, of course you don't need to go as heavy as I am with these. I feel like that's a given, like you really don't need to be crazy when putting on blush but I'm just doing this for the sake of the video so we can test out a lot of different colors and also just see like what the pigmentation is when you don't really tap it off or or you're too careful with them because I feel like that looks really nice like I know it looks crazy just wait until the eyelid comes together I think it's all going to make sense I'm just going to take my powder brush and just gently go over it a little bit just to make sure that it's looking nice I really like that. I do have some staining on my eyes, which I do need to cover up because we're gonna be using uh, mostly warm tones on the eyes today. And I gotta say, when I swatched the Melt Palette, I wasn't, I wasn't blown away. And when I did my first look with it, it was kind of like, yeah, it's about what I expected. Um, I wouldn't say that I've always been like the biggest fan of uh, Melt's eyeshadows. I think they do really nice mattes, but their shimmers are just very basic and very boring like I'm sorry but they're just not special in the slightest and I feel like with this palette that's absolutely no exception like they're just very blah <laughs> so we'll see if I go in and like spice them up a little bit by using a topper or something because I do want this to be a fun look and I just feel like the melt palette isn't gonna give me everything that it is that I want. So I think that is looking good. I'm just gonna tap this out a little bit. I could use the blush palettes on my eyes, but honestly, I don't wanna use eyeshadow. I don't wanna use blush as eyeshadows because it's not what they're intended for. And so I just wanna use actual eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use this shade and this shade in my crease. I might deepen it up a little bit with this one. We'll see how it kind of looks, but 
This is a beautiful color and I'm really excited to use that one. I don't feel like you see sort of a peachy shade like this very often. This is a shade called Behang. I don't know how to pronounce it and I know this is like wheat themed and stuff and I don't know much about wheat. So I'm just gonna put this into my crease. I'm gonna be kind of sloppy, not be too precise with this and I am going to wing this out and sort of blend it into the blush a little bit. And I'm probably gonna go in with a little bit more blush just so that we can connect everything. I'm not used to doing looks where the blush is sort of like incorporated into the eye look, but I do want, should I do that now or just wait? No, I'm gonna wait. I feel like this is a little bit of a sheerer matte formula than I'm used to from, from Melt, just from like first dip and first blending with this color. The first look that I did, I did more of a graphic look, so I didn't blend that much and I feel like I did feel like with that look too that the mattes were a little bit sheerer, which makes me a little sad because honestly the thing that I like about Melt is that they have really nice pigmented mattes. So we'll see. I'm just gonna keep kind of going with this shade until I get it where I want it to be. So I'm just kind of trying to fade this color into the blush here so that they just sort of merge together. I'm gonna go in with a very, very large blending brush and I'm going to dip that into the blush that I use up top there and just kind of work on the edge of everything and see if I can make this into a nice blend. And I guess I'm also adding a little bit more pigment, which is fine. I mean, I have to say, these are just blending so wonderfully. Like, I feel like I got the perfect blend between the colors. And the pigment is, like, perfect just the way that I wanted to in the spots that I wanted to be. So I really like this. Let's see. I'm going to go in with the... Go in with... I'm going to use the darker of the uh, red shades here in the palette. I'm going to use that to deepen up this eye look with. In the past, I've had really good luck with um, reds for Melt. So... I'm expecting big things here. We're just gonna kind of pop that in the outer corner. Yeah, I feel like with this shade too, it's just a little bit sheer and I don't feel like it's sticking that nicely. It is building, but I feel like it's taking a little bit more building than what I'm used to from uh, the mattes from Melt. I'm just a little bit like confused. Like what happened? Is this the same formula? I'm not sure. It is building quite nicely though, so I can't really complain about that. I do think that I'm getting a nice look out of this. I'm looking crazy, aren't I? That is okay. I'm next gonna do the shimmers. I am gonna put on some glitter primer, even though with these shimmers, it's really not gonna make that big of a difference because they're not the kind of formula that will really benefit too much from having a glitter primer. They're basically just gonna look the same no matter what, but it's just a step that I like to do, so I'm just gonna do it out of habit. And I'm gonna use probably just these two shades right here. I could deepen this look up a little bit, but I really don't want to. I'm just gonna keep it on the lighter side and kind of have it be sort of the same saturation as the blush. I'm just gonna do this shade in the middle of my lid and then do the lighter shade in the front portion. I keep looking at this and I'm just like, this is so boring. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I just, I have so many other beautiful shimmers in my collection at this point that for me, this is not doing anything. But if you're someone who likes more subtle shimmers, you're probably going to love these. And if you like Mel shimmers in general, you're probably going to love these. But these just aren't what I'm looking for. And it's okay that we all have different preferences. Not everyone's looking for the same things. But for me, this is not not really making me excited. And if I don't get excited about my makeup, I'm probably not gonna wanna use it again. So I don't see myself really reaching for this palette after I've done this video, which is a shame because I spent my own money on it and I wanted it to be good, but trying to take one for the team here. <laughs> and hopefully the review is going to be helpful at least. And maybe if you have the same preferences and eyeshadows that I do, you'll probably stay away from this because it's really not, like I feel like even the mattes in the front portion here are like fading. I just don't think they're looking that good. 
I'm gonna go into the shade called Saturn, which is the shade next to it, which I'm having a hard time picking anything up on my brush. And I also struggled to swatch this shade. It almost hard pan before I even touched it. And I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like the color of it doesn't really go that well with the rest of the palette. It almost seems a little too icy and cool toned. And I feel like it was more warm toned. Hmm. I feel like when I blend these together though, it's gonna be fine, but I don't, I don't love this. And I'm just having a hard time getting it onto my eye as well. Like, I don't think you'll be able to really, oh, maybe you can see it in the pan. Do you see how it's like, it's hard to explain, but you can almost see the reflection in it. Like it doesn't look matte. It almost looks like it has a bit of a shield over the top. And yep, that's hard pan. And I know you can remove hard pan. I know you can use tape. Listen, how many people want to bother doing that? <laughs> like, honestly. And I find that if a shade hard pan once, it probably hard pans again. And I just, I don't have the patience for that. Like, there are so many formulas that don't hard pan that I don't want a formula that hard pans. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm next going to go ahead and just wipe off this lipstick and we can put the lip oil over the top. Ooh, that is a really pretty stain. I do feel like you can still see a little bit of sparkles in it, but I'm gonna try to remove those. Now, of course, if you do wear this lipstick and it kind of wears off, it's going to probably stain more than me using a makeup wipe and like actually removing all of it. But I do think it leaves enough of a stain that it's gonna look good with the lip oil over the top. So I'm gonna take the orange one. Again, like I said before, be a little bit careful when you try to like take this out probably saw that because it's it's kind of like stuck in there so it's a bit hard to get out without it flying everywhere it's just going to take a little bit of practice that is really pretty that is a beautiful lip combo and so comfortable like these are very 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 comfortable and they just feel great on the lips like I don't I don't see myself really wearing these as like a a lipstick type product these are more gonna be like for when I'm at home and I just want to like so have something that's moisturizing on my lips I'm probably going to be reaching for these and like sleeping in them and stuff like that or if I just want to have a very simple lip product with a lip liner I can definitely wear these as well but like color wise they're not really colored so just keep that in mind you're not going to get like a very bright color out of them so I would say pick up one or two you don't you don't need more than that you don't need the full set like just get one or two try the formula see how you like it and then you know, you can always like buy another one when you go through the one that you already have. I don't think you need to buy all five of them or all six of them. I have six because one is in my bag. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up with this look. I think this is all I'm going to do. I mean, I like how it looks. I think it's gonna look cool, like all put together when I put on some lashes and some highlighter. Maybe let's do some highlighter together too. I wish I had an orange highlighter, but I'm gonna use the Anyone Surprised and Lighten Shade in the Noctilucent palette because it is my favorite and I think because it's yellow it's probably going to end up looking like a little bit like the colors that are underneath because it is more of a sheer formula. Oh that is really pretty. I like how that layers over all of these different colors. I'm going to take some of the pink shade which is this one and use that on my brow bone just because I think that could be kind of fun. Okay, and here is the look all done. I love how this turned out. I think this is so pretty. My lashes today are from Bright Lashes, and these are the Daydream Lashes. Super, super pretty. They remind me a lot of some of the Unicorn Cosmetics lashes that I have that I absolutely love. And just to finish off, I did some yellow in my waterline. I'm trying to put my watch back on. <laughs> I'm using Punch from ColourPop. It's from the new set that they sent me, and I'm so excited that they brought this color back because... I used to have this color and then it broke on me and I wasn't able to repurchase it because they didn't have it in stock anymore. So this is probably my favorite yellow eyeliner in my collection. I think it is so good. So let's see, how should I sum up this video? I think that the melt palette is a miss for me. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you like the other melt palettes and you don't mind the melt shimmers, you might like this, but honestly, one of the shades having hard pan is a bit of a, 
it's just an annoyance, you know? Like, I've had that happen with Mel palettes in the past too, and it usually happens with these lighter shades, and I don't know why they keep making these shades hard pan. Like, I know they don't do it on purpose, obviously, but it's like, why haven't you perfected this formula by now? Like, this keeps happening, and it's really annoying. Uh, the rest of the palette is fine. It's just fine. Like, there, there's nothing about this that makes me go, oh my god, I can't wait to use that again. Like, it, I, honestly, it probably won't even happen. I probably won't use it again. Sorry, not sorry, but that's how... That's just how it is. If it doesn't make me excited, it doesn't make me excited. As for the Blend Bunny palettes, I think these are beautiful and I'm just excited to play more with these. I'm excited to use just like one color at a time and just like keep testing these. Obviously, I'm going to keep showing you and keep talking about them and letting you know my thoughts as I go along. The only thing I will say is that they are very pigmented. If you don't like a pigmented blush, probably don't pick these up. Um, just because it is going to be a little bit harder to work with some of these darker tones to make them be more wearable. But if you like an out there blush like I do, I think you're going to love these. I think the formula is really nice. The formulas are a matte formula. So if you're more into like a luminous blush, these also might not be for you. But if you like a matte blush and you like a pigmented blush and you like a pigmented blush that blends nicely, I think you're going to love these. The lip oils are awesome. I'm just excited to have them. I know I'm gonna get so much use out of them. Like I said before, they don't have a ton of pigment to them, so no need to pick up all of them. I would pick up a couple if I were you and just try them and see how you like them first. But yeah, I think they're wonderful. Like they just feel so nice on the lips and I know that I'm just always going to have one of these next to me wherever I am because it's just so easy to chuck on if like your lips are feeling dry or you just want something. These are just a really, really, really nice formula. And I also don't really have a lot of lip oils in my collection. I have mostly lip balms, which are in a pot, which are the ones from Kaleidos, which I love those. Those are usually what I use, like when I'm just sitting on my computer or whatever, but like having to dig my finger into a pot, I hate doing that. So having these, I know I'm going to probably be using these a lot more. So I think those are going to be my thoughts. I will show you the other look. I should have done that while I was talking. I'm gonna show you the other look that I've done with the palette as well as I did use the blush palette in that look as well and I used the bare cheeks palette I want to say I used a shade called making me blush which was the more sort of neutrally ones that I felt like would look really nice on me and I love that color I think it is absolutely stunning the look that I did with the melt palette I did more of a graphic look like I said I did earlier and I used the the dark brown shade as sort of my my wing and then I did some blue in my crease and I did mostly I just blew on my lid as well. And I like the look and I like the performance, but I wasn't blown away by anything. I do feel like the formula in this palette is a little bit sheerer than I'm used to from Melt. And I noticed it with the dark brown as well, um, because I'm not used to having to like build, especially with the dark mattes from them. I just felt like it was a little bit lackluster from what I'm used to, but it's not lackluster compared to other brands. It's just, it's not what I'm, expecting from melt and i think that's what threw me off a little bit because it's just it's just different and i don't know if i like this kind of different it's i i feel like their formula was better before i don't know if they reformulated literally have no idea i'm just kind of taking a stab in the dark here but i do feel like the formula is a little bit different and i'm not a fan so i think those are going to be my thoughts i do like the look though but i like this look so much more like i'm so here for like all the warm tones and i love the blush shaping and i kind of like the hair as well i do need to kind of play around with this curling iron because the back of my head like i said looks ridiculous but the front looks nice if i could just like get all of it to be be nice then might be onto something. So yeah, that's gonna be my final thoughts on on all of these. Of course, I'm gonna you know play more with the Blend Bunny stuff and just kind of show you as I go. But for now, that's gonna be my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to see some more Blend Bunny content, I will I will put my playlist up on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.